All right, so this video is about writing equations in vertex form using completing the square, completing the square. So basically, you have to understand this. If you want to write the equation in vertex form, we're essentially looking for it to be in the form y equals a x subtract h squared plus k. That's the vertex form. So, in order to do that with completing the square, I want to rewrite it. So, it's some binomial squared with the a value in front of the parentheses plus some constant k. So, to do that, in this case, the a value is 1. So, since the a value is 1, I can just rewrite it as y equals to 1 in the parentheses. I'm going to rewrite the x's, just the x part. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use this on the end. Track 35. But in parentheses, it's just going to be the part with x's. So x squared, track 2x. If you factor out one from those, they don't change. But if that was like 2, it would change. But this is going to give you x squared, subtract 2x. What you want to do is make that a perfect trinomial so that I can rewrite it as some binomial squared. So you have to find out what c is. So I'm going to put plus c. Uh, here I'm going to subtract c. So, or well, subtract c times 1. So basically, whatever the c value is, you can put it on the inside of the parentheses, and you can put it outside of parentheses. So they cancel each other out. You got to put one being positive on the inside, and one being subtraction on the outside. And we'll put times one, because it's whatever times a, whatever a was, is going to be multiplied by the c outside, in order to keep them equal to each other and balanced. So if that's true, I need to find out what c is. In completing the square, c should be half of the coefficient of x squared. So c should be half of 2 squared. Half of 2 is 1. When we square 1, we should get 1. But I'm going to write it though. Negative 2 over 2 squared. Close parentheses. Subtract 35. Subtract negative 2 over 2 squared times 1. Now, so, I already know what negative 2 over 2 is. That's 1, a negative 1, and y squared is going to be positive 1. So, this is going to be now 1 parentheses x squared subtract 2x plus 1 subtract 35 subtract 1 times 1 is 1. So, now, if I want to write that as a perfect trinomial, this factors, if you try to factor that with the x game, you're basically going to find out that that factor is to be x subtract the square root of this number, where the square root of 1 is 1, squared, subtract these two combined to be 36. So now I have it in standard form. Well, not standard form, vertex form. So I have it in vertex form because I can see h, I can see k, and I can see a. I know my vertex in this equation will be positive 1, negative 36. I know this, quad, this, pro, this parabola opens up because it's a positive 1. So it looks like this. I know A equals a 1. I can identify all other important characteristics of it, like the y-intercept and all sorts of things. But, yeah, that's, that's how you do it. All right, I'm going to give you another one. But I'll pause the video and copy this if you need it. But I'm going to give you a new one now. All right, so here's a new one. So write this equation in vertex form. All right, in this case, whatever the number is there, you want to factor it out from all the ones with x's. So I'm going to rewrite it again. That's a negative 1 here. So I'm going to factor out a negative 1. In the parentheses. And this plus 1, again, just add it to the end. If you factor out a negative 1 from both of these numbers, it changes their signs. This becomes x squared, positive x squared. This becomes positive 4x. Because if I distribute negative 1 back to it, negative 1 times x squared gives you back your negative x squared. And negative 1 times positive 4x gives you back your negative 4x. So if you factor out from both of those, they become positive numbers. You don't have to factor out from the 1 because it's going to be added to the end. Then we're going to find C. C 
should be half of 4 squared. Let's think about this. What is half of 4? Well, that's 2. Oh, we're right there. 2 squared. Well, that's 4. So I know C value is 4. And if that's true, I'm going to put it over here, um, subtract 4. Because it is plus here, but I got to put subtract there. And don't forget to multiply by whatever the A value was. A was negative 1. So it's going to be negative 1 here. So from there, I wind up having negative 1, parentheses. This part is going to factor to be a binomial squared. It's going to be x. That sign says plus, so it's going to be plus. The square root of 4 is 2. So the x plus 2 in parentheses. And then it's going to be plus 1 plus 4. So this is negative 1. x plus 2 squared plus 5. So y equals to this. So I read it in vertex form. I can see my vertex is negative 2, positive 5. Because you get the opposite of that sign. I know my a value is negative 1. And I know that it opens down. Because a is negative. So now this is really a maximum. That's where it turns back downward again. So it's a maximum. All right, so that's it. That's another example. I'll pause the video. And I would write that down because the next one, I'm going to let you try on your own. And you use that as a guide. All right, I got a new one. Directions are slightly different. It says identify the vertex of the quadratic equation. So it basically said put it in vertex form. And then as we did previously, after you put it in vertex form, just state the vertex. So, let's put it in vertex form first. So, in the previous examples, the first thing we did was, you factor out the A. So, the A value is 2. So, put, put a 2 out in front of the parentheses. Just keeping the variables here and adding the 31 to the end of it. And I have to rewrite this after I factor out a 2. So, if I factor out a 2, this becomes x squared, subtract 8x. And once I find that out, I have to find out what C is. So, um, I did the last one kind of without writing plus C. I'm going to write it. Maybe that confused you. But it should be plus C here. Subtract C there times 2. Because in this case, A value is 2. Now, C in this problem should be 2. Then X squared, subtract 8X. I'll plug in my calculator. Half of 8. Half of 8 you should know is negative 4. Or this negative 8. So half 8 is negative 4. So negative 4 to the second power is 16. So I know C equals a 16. So I'm going to put a 16 here. Plus 31. Subtract 16 times the 2 that was next to it. So it's still 16 times 2. So this part is now 2. And then parentheses. X subtract 4. Quantity squared, because square root of 16 is 4, and that sign is negative, plus 31 take away 32. So that is 2, x subtract 4 squared, and just going to rewrite all that. 31 take away 32 is negative 1. So this is your equation in vertex form. This is identify the vertex. The vertex is positive 4, negative 1. And I think that's all the x. Identify the vertex. So we've done. The vertex is positive 4, negative 1. All right. I think that's pretty much it. All right. So here's a new one. And you try it. Pause the video and solve it on your own. I'm going to give you an answer in just a moment. So I won't give you the steps to it. But pause it and give it a shot by yourself. All right. So if you gave a shot on your own, you should have found that the vertex was negative 4, positive 1. And these are my steps to it. And sometimes they don't always look like this. Like all mine look kind of the same. But sometimes you're going to see problems that might look like this. Oh, I should be a square here. Sometimes you can see problems look like this. Y equals 2x squared plus 4x, right? So in this kind of a problem, you don't have a C. 
So in this problem, before you begin, you might want to call plus c to be 0. So then you know, oh, I can write this is 2 when c is x squared plus 2x plus 0. We can add c here and subtract c times 2 there. All right, so then you can go about the process of finding c and finishing it. So sometimes they don't give you all three terms. You have to figure it out without all three terms by giving 0 to the terms you're missing. And then sometimes they also give you problems where you don't where you don't actually have um, a value that's divisible by 2. For example, or divisible by the GCF. For example, they might give you this. 5x squared subtract 7x plus 1. All right. So in this case, when you rewrite this, when you factor out the 5, 5x squared can factor out of 5. The 7 doesn't really divide by 5 very well. It gives you a decimal. So basically, it's going to be negative 7 over 5x plus c. And this is going to be plus c times 5 outside. This is c times 5. It doesn't look very good, but that's what it says. So sometimes you get decimals here, and you got to figure out how to complete the square with that decimal. But that's okay. It's called 7 over 5 a decimal. And then find out what the c value is. Anyway, that's it. That's all I have. Good luck.